basically we are isolated islanders but not too far away from the continent so it was a peace world so we of course we had the kind of you know war time in the country but you know basically it's so limited so we have to negotiate the negotiation culture is the you know the island base and at this at that uh, on the other hand you know after especially after the second world war we surrender gave up on the weapon on the official and the mentally the totally gave up under the umbrella of America you know, in the sense of military so that you know all the engineer had to stop thinking about uh, how to destroy the people technology so in a sense it's naive but you know that's the fact so we have to accept this you know as a present living person <laughs> so well, what I, th we are, I am thinking is always you know this this kind of situation is a fact therefore this kind of uh, decadent or you know almost uh, pathetic <laughs> level of this you know peace world you know culture is uh, developed and then that's a crystal is a so-called gyaru or so-called otaku and uh, they are both fashion leader or trend maker of the whole world so you know that I think that is the flower of this uh, one you know half a, half a century of this spot after the world war my seniors or my parents generation have been making tons of effort to be the rich and then we are now rich then what we can offer to the world should be the software culture and then those are the flower but uh, as usual this uh, in this country this flower was not sup was supposedly more like wabi-sabi or you know the samurai kind of nice one was supposed to be the flower for the elderly people but it wasn't therefore it appears it's so innovationally different that's why it appears to the global young people so more people, elderly people feel so disappointed I think it's more better I think I feel more hope yes that much different that much new one word should be relating to the metrosexual phenomenon mm -hmm. metrosexual has a lot of understanding but the basically the world become peace and then the guys look for the who am I and what am I for you know once it's a battle time the guy is obviously I am here that's why I am here I mean I am a fighter to protect my family I'm here but uh, once the, it becomes peace more peace guy is becoming more neutral and uh, more feminine and that is called and especially in the urban area it happens because it's far from the natural you know disastrous you know the irregularity mm -hmm. so in the core of this uh, metro the guy becomes more you know fashion oriented it's not a testosterone guy anymore that that's the that's the happening in this island the most as I mentioned, it's peace for a long time, and then you know we uh, we reach to the some certain level of the quality of life. So that uh, now what I'm doing for, then it's becoming maturing. This uh, you know decadent culture is appearing, and then the Europe too. You know basically you know there are so many. But there is no more third world war. That's a big uh, you know, in, my, in their people's mind. Then still the small conflict appear, but still people are sick of this, you know, tough competition war. You know, more more the global IT network is well prepared. Everybody has to 24 hours keep fighting, and then they, the winner and the losers difference is, is becoming so big. The most of the kind of you know weaker. You know, milder mentality people feel so sick and then don't see the future hope for thinking of the my own their own future I will be probably belonging to the loser side and then you know this Japanese animation hero is not looking for the victory you know always try to help the weak people and then you know the, their goal is not the victory with his own you know power 
that's the basic mentality, you know, Japanese, so the milder people are tired and then look back and then all the way to the back in the Far East, some kind of, you know, this Shangri-La is shining there. Ah, that's okay, they say. The style of the hero I analyzed in my book, it's uh, very different, you know. Dragon Ball is the base, most uh, easiest example. It's uh, at the totally end of the final story to kill the ultimate evil. Is he used? He didn't use the Kamehameha. He used the Genki Dama, you know, the vital ball. Then it was he collected the, every single person on this you know planet's energy. Little by little, and they make the big ball and he throw it to them. So it's like a broadband idea. It's like a social media revolution in you know this Africa. You know he collected the each people's you know energy and then he threw it. That was not like you know his own talent and his own you know godlike giving power is killing ki kill that uh, enemy. So he was just a media. So it was you know, very different concept of the hero. And on top of it, this total evil was killed by this, destroyed by this Genki Dama. After that, something is left over. That was the real, this evil guy. And he became so friendly and he joined. Okay, come with me. So, any sense, you know, there was no complete evil guy. And then we need always harmonious collaboration to kill the evil. So it's a different concept of the justice. So that kind of thing is um, apparently not clearly explained by text, but you know, kids are you know so sensitive; they can feel uh, something is different you know, without the text. So you know, I just come up with some particular example, but uh, every single action of his behavior contains naturally different style or different definition of the justice or love or anything, how to live. You know, always need a co collaboration kind of thing in the Japanese you know, famous way, but it still takes a long time to decide. <laughs> so, so it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But, uh, th that's the basically, you know, everywhere in the whole world, people are so sick. So people who is just going for the running for the success monsters they don't care japanese anime at all so what <laughs> so let's make money <laughs> according to my theory this uh this uh, there are four first industrialized area northern europe and then southern europe northern america and the far, far east especially northern northern east northern east northeast um, uh, asia those four segments had were in the first runner then the bricks or vista or those you know emerging are falling up now but the, those four can be cut, defined by either manly or women feminine or you know masculine or adult or child then in that sense japan is belonging to the very much like uh, childish and garish so we are the little tiny girl behavior is then france is those rotten countries are elegant it means feminine but adult so we share the feminineness but uh, they are more adult behavior and the america is you know, more boyish you know, they are so energetic and they glamorous, they love, and they are so, you know, they love power. So, but they have still s sense of the humor of like a child. So, you know, they are more childish, but the more guy. Then the Northern Europe is more like adult than the guy, mature man, reasonable, and then Russian. So, in that sense, the uh, French or Italian uh, culture is sharing the feminineness with us. Japan used to be there, you know, once, once upon a time, like Edo period. Mm -hmm. It was more elegant woman was uh, appreciated, but the, since I mentioned after, especially after the war, you know, we're becoming so childish. 
you know, Japanese people are so not so hungry still, so that you know they know they know they have to go overseas business. That's it. nowadays uh, every single world is a service industry or overseas industry <laughs> and the M and A. That's all. So we know everybody knows we have to go overseas and then do the reverse engineering. But uh, you know still before success is too strong. So there's still some hoping. <laughs> Somehow <laughs> it will be back. So that you know nobody take it seriously. But I still believe so many, so many, most of this Japanese which, uh, business, mm. which Japanese don't know, this is so unique because it's so close to world, has a tons of potential. Once it's a little bit out of to the customization. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, uh, let's say, so called uh, Proshima period nowadays, it's called. Uh, like a mm, iPhone application, you know, you are the user and the producer at the same time, you know, consumer and the producer at the same time. So it's called the open business style. And then everybody is win-win. And then this, this kind of business style is comp already completely done on the layer of the software, you know, IT business, mm -hmm. especially contents. But even not contents like uh, you know, operation uh, software program, it's a Linux, Linux or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, now it's a time of the atom. That was the world of the bit. Then atom is coming up now. Just like, uh, uh, let's say, this uh, decoration. De decoration the mobile phone this is um, almost every single girl use this and then this is you know very much like uh, on top of the high tech you know the engineer tried to make it downsize a lot but it uh, be, be, became so big again <laughs> so but the girls don't mind so this if you go to the shop you, the availability or choosability of this you know components are infinite you, it's all on the wall, it's thousands of the components already. And then, you know, UV, UV glue, you know, UV glue is, you know, once you beam the, the UV, right, the ultraviolet, right, then it so, becomes solid, that's a kind of glue and uh, coating material. It's, uh, it's cheap, it's like this uh, UV, right, is only like uh, 20 dara. Mm -hmm. And then the, in the little shop, the nail artist and then this components and the UV right, which is a production technology, is ready. Then whole process is uh, done in the in the little shop on the street. It means component and the assembling machine and the user's idea or editor's idea is one package on the selling side. So this kind of thing used to be in the factory made and then painted and then instead so few types of the products are prepared and then we have to choose out of three. Then people get bored because it's same to my friend so it's nobody buy it but you know it can be customized totally free degree of freedom it has. The point was this UV right uh, availability and the cost was became enough and then component variation became enough and the idea is so much idea on the web you can just punch in the you know nail uh, art and the decoration mobile phone then it's so many examples so everybody does it so this is the typical real 2.0 when i see this for the first time i see gee i can't understand this and then oh my god you know, people are becoming that level. Then, two seconds later, I, no, 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 no. This, I'm belonging to the elderly people already. <coughs> so that more pathetic the culture I see from the young people, which is the future of us, then I should, I always try to combat it. This is the hope, you know, more unique. So that's why I can't understand. So I don't have to understand, but they have something new which elderly people couldn't make it. And then somehow, 
Asian young people especially and then around the world over, over the world people, young people are admiring it means it ha must have something personalization you know we take we can put our soul into this product so easily mm. you know the memorial service you have for the human or even pet right when the pet dies you just uh, put it in a grave sometime if you love the pet so much but uh, in Japan even the door we have the shrine master door memorial service when you sick of this old broken door you can't dump it to the garbage because you feel so scared <coughs> because it has a <coughs> spirit in it <coughs> and then on top of it even the knife or the needle has a memorial service or scissors <coughs> and it's not even uh, human look like <coughs> And then I tell you one story about this needle service. Is uh, you know once somehow your needle is broken, you know for sewing, then you know you keep it, and then one day you bring it to the shrine, and then put it on the tofu. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this has been struggling with the hard material. That's why it bent. <laughs> so that before going to the heaven, you know. Let them let him feel the what the softness is. <laughs> That's why you know people put the. It's not that sub, new culture. It's been doing like that for you know hundred years. So that much you know Japanese mentality can be you know partner with a tool. So that you know that's why you know I I want to you know she wants to decorate this guy at the same time. You know this is my partner. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to, you know, dress up like myself and coordinate to my, you know, cross because it's my sister kind of bit. You know, that's a basic mentality and it's very much anima, right? Anima is a soul. That's why animation is so popular in Japan. Yokoi Gunpei-san made the uh, uh, Rab Rab meter. And uh, the Fukukuban, Fukukuban, the re remade version is now available. It was like uh, 30, 40 years ago, <coughs> original. Mm -hmm. What it is, is you know, it's a, just an ampere meter, mm -hmm. simple. And then the uh, probe is usually like a needle shape to you know, check the uh, resistance. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Instead, it has the shape of the heart. So you grab one part, and then the, your other partner grab one part and if you rub rub to each other it goes up because you sweat a little bit and then your temperature goes high right <coughs> but uh, he thought this um, not instead of two ampere three ampere <coughs> unit can be one heart <laughs> then totally different value appear because the what uh, is measuring is uh, how many heart not how many um, currency. So Yokoi Gunpei's uh, this rub rub meter was so symbolistic of this matured, you know, component ampere meter mm. can be converted into such a, you know, the colorful use. <coughs>